Good afternoon. We are extremely pleased that you are here. It really is co-creating at its best. Are you glad to be here? Yes. Are you knowing what you're wanting? Do you like how your desires continue to evolve? We like that. It's really the whole point of life, yours and ours. In other words, more, more, more. There's no ending to that. We are all eternal beings. And relaxing into that is really good for you because it takes the hurry away. It takes the time shortage consciousness out of the equation. When you realize that you're not on some deadline, there is no dead. There's only continuing. And each time you come into a physical body, you gain a whole new perspective, one you've never had before. Because the populations that you come into are different. What you observe is different. Therefore, your point of attraction is different. Therefore, your creation is different. Therefore, you are different. And by different, we mean more, 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 more. What's the point of it? What's the point of your eternal beingness? The joy of beingness. Is there some place you're supposed to arrive at? Or any of us? Is there some place we're supposed to be? What's the point of it? Has somebody got this goal in mind? And you are succeeding or failing in this moment or that? It's not like that at all. It's that you are alive and you are consciousness and you can point consciousness and the law of attraction responds to the consciousness that you've pointed and things expand in response to your pointed consciousness because you are creator. What's the point of that? It's way fun. It's really satisfying. And maybe the point is that it can't be otherwise. What do you mean? <laughs> That doesn't really seem like the point. If it's inevitable, if it's inevitable, then why are we here to learn about deliberate creation? Because it's more fun when you are deliberate about it. It's more fun when life has caused you to ask and then you point your question in a stronger way. And then you let the discomfort of the question subside. And you allow yourself to be in a vibrational space where the answer to your question or the solution to your problem can come. And if you have deliberately acknowledged your question or your problem, and then you get to witness the unfolding of the answer or the solution, that is so satisfying to creators. And we would like just understanding what we just said to be the reason, or one of the reasons, that you are willing not to be so hard on yourself when you're in a jam, or when you have a question, when there's something that you want that isn't quite unfolding, or when there's something you don't understand. These are blessed times. When you stand in that unknowing, you are asking with a stronger calling than ever before. And if you know you're asking, and if you know an answer is coming, when it comes, you feel part of it. And that's the point. It's like an artist really is not very satisfied looking at art. Once the artist has decided to be an artist, you want to art. <laughs> and so that's why this diversity that you are a part of is so magnificent because there is so much stimulation to help you focus and gather your intentions. <sighs> what I want, what I want what I would feel good in the experiencing of. What I would feel good in the experiencing of. Ooh, what a too long bumper sticker that is. <laughs> what I would feel good in the experiencing of. Really, when you put things on your vehicles that others read, you gotta just keep moving so they don't get to talk to you about it. <laughs> just keep moving. 
Jerry and Esther's buses they had four of them over a period of 12 years and all of the buses said life is supposed to be fun and one day they were in an RV park in Albuquerque New Mexico and they towed a car behind these 45 foot buses and the cars had drive shafts that either had to lift the wheels off the ground because you don't want to drag it around or you disconnect the drive shaft so that it can freewheel and so they had a drive shaft disconnect on this car that they were towing and over time it stopped operating really well so the levers inside the car weren't quite getting it done and so for a while until they got it repaired Jerry would put one of those mechanics dollies on the ground and he would lie on it and he would roll under with his hammer and Esther would hear him tick 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 and then it was done not efficient but effective and one day he's under there tick 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 and Esther's standing out there like the surgeon's assistant scalpel scalpel and a man was standing next to her for quite a long time and she said hello and he said hello he didn't come to talk to Esther he wanted to talk to whoever was under there and when Jerry rolled back out into the sunlight the man said is it still fun <laughs> he just couldn't wait to mock Jerry life is supposed to be fun well is it how about now how about now life is supposed to be fun it's supposed to be interesting it's supposed to be fun it's supposed to be stimulating it's supposed to be what you make it to be which is what makes it fun and interesting and satisfying and stimulating it's not much fun to watch others create but it is so much fun to co-create with them isn't it so now you know everything that we know there's no point in us saying anything else we're here because we want to talk to you about what you want to talk about there is no order of business here are we speaking faster than your ears can hear or is this a good pace all right what do you want hmm this is good a lot of trouble in this room no trouble all right so just chill let's start right here on the aisle right here so we're going to chew it all over today as much as you want to chew it over from whatever vantage point you want to chew it over we just want you to know what we know about you we know that you are source energy and that we know you're in physical bodies and we know you came with great purpose and we know for sure for sure for sure that you want to feel good that you get to feel good that you're supposed to feel good and that there's nothing serious going on here this is not saving the world from anything the world does not need to be saved this is you finding your more steady path to the joyous being that you were born to be you see and in doing so you will help you will uplift you will teach through the clarity of your example but your words aren't the way to make it happen contradicting anyone about what they're intending in the moment or what they're understanding that path of least resistance is a wily thing isn't it in other words path of least resistance path of most allowance it is the same conversation let's say you're getting in your vehicle and you're on your way you're gonna go across the desert you're on your way to the Super Bowl <laughs> and as you head out there's a bridge closure or a mudslide there's something that prevents your path well the path of most allowance is an ever-changing thing it doesn't mean don't go it just means try a different path it doesn't mean that your intention was wrong it just means that your intention will be better satisfied by following inspiration that takes you over and under and up and around and path of least resistance so often when you feel stymied or hindered you question oh I must be headed toward the wrong thing and we say all that has happened is that some beliefs or opinions that you've been holding are in your way and not allowing you the 
in this moment path but it doesn't mean that the path is blocked it just means that the path of least resistance has moved for you for your benefit and so we're just gonna say one more phrase to you I want you to hear this and then we'll open it to whatever you want to talk about your inner being knows where you stand in terms of creating your life where you stand in relationship to everything that you want and knows how to call you and here's the key phrase how to call you around and over around call you around your resistance your inner being knows what your resistances are and doesn't spend any time adding to them by focusing on them even though you are your inner being just keeps calling you through the path of least resistance and that's why sometimes you become so frustrated because there's something that you want and you keep feeling held up and then you try to give up like you could like you could give up a desire good luck with that like you could have lived all of that life and sifted through all of that data and launched all those rockets of desire and all those vibrations could have gathered in your vibrational reality where your inner being is and your inner being is focused upon all of these desires from a knowing of no resistance whatsoever and cooperative components have already been gathered so that the seed is in the soil and so much is underway already and you think that you could just say never mind because it's hard or because you've got resistance that you didn't know that you had that's keeping you from moving easily to it your inner being is going to call you to who you are never-endedly and who you are is capable and deserving and love and so we don't think that there's a good reason for you to hold back from who you are we think there's every good reason for you to let yourself be who you are and it's so much easier than you think it is once you get the hang of this just a little bit if you like this video don't forget to subscribe we'll see you in the next